Hey guys, STS Cuban here. Today, I'm going to show you how to solve the 2x2 two two blindfolded. Okay, so quickly before I start, I just wanted to say I'm not going to teach you guys notation or anything because I'm assuming that you already know how to solve the 2x2 two two with the 3x3. Three three. Um, yeah, basically I would recommend if you don't know the 3x2 if you only know the 2x2 two two and you don't know the 3x3 three three yet, learn 3x3 three three first because I do use one thing from 3x3 three three in, this, in this tutorial. So I'd recommend learning 3x3 first, it's not that hard, and I'm guessing most of you who are looking into this video already know 3x3. Three three. So, yeah, now let's just get right into it. Okay, so you're probably thinking, Rubik's Cube, blindfolded, that's way too hard. But it's actually not, because I mean, that's what I thought at the beginning, but it literally, after maybe two or three days of practice, here I am. But, yeah, so, how it works is you just need to know one algorithm. Just one. And, if you're decently fast at 3x3 three three and you know PLL, then it's going to be a pretty easy one. If not, well then, it's still pretty easy. It's basically just a Y perm, one of these on the 3x3, three three, in case you don't know it by its name. It's just one of these, except without the first F and the last F prime. So, instead of, so you do that, right? But now the algorithm would be like this. And then, here. Yeah, so that's what it would be. So, I'm gonna put the algorithm somewhere on screen, so you can drill it a little bit if you need. If not, you can just look up Y-perm and then do it without the Fs. But yeah, so, how the algorithm works, basically, or how solving a 2x2 two two blindfolded works, is like this. So, when you do that algorithm, right, then, as you can see, it switches these two pieces. But not just these two pieces these two stickers specifically. As you can see, the yellow went to orange, and the orange went to yellow. So, we can use that to solve the cube blindfolded. And how we do that is with this. A lettering system. So, how is, what this lettering system is, is basically every piece on the cube has a specific letter assigned to it, from A to X. I just like to do it so whites on top and greens in front because it's easier for me that way. But yeah, so how it works is it goes like this. If, so you're holding green in front, right? So you just go to the top, A, B, C, D. So then you go to the green, and then go one over, E, F, G, H. Then two green, I, J, K, L. Then over, M, N, O, P. And then over here, Q, R, S, T. Oh, the S and the T are kind of fading. But yeah. So it's like that, and then for the bottom layer, right, you just go back to the green, and then go down. U, V, W, X. Sorry, it's all fading, I used a erasable marker. I'm just gonna erase it all. But yeah, so that's how that works. And you only have to memorize, like, at most five or six letters. And it's not that hard. So, let me show you how you're gonna do it. Basically, so you're gonna take a two I two. Right, and here, let me grab a scramble so that we can all try it together. Okay, so I've got a scramble pulled up. Here it is on screen. I'm just gonna leave it there for a second if you wanna quickly do it on your cube. And yeah, so I'm just gonna quickly do it. So we got F, U prime, F2, R prime, U, F, U, R prime, U prime. So that's the scramble. Now, how you're gonna look at it is like this. Okay, so this back corner, is the buffer piece. This bottom, or basically this back sticker right here, is the buffer sticker, or the buffer piece. This corner is the buffer piece. Down here, this sticker is the buffer sticker, or the buffer piece, or the corner, I mean the target sticker slash the target piece. So that's gonna work, is you're gonna choose one, um, like, one of the little corners, and put it in its right spot. So I always like to go with green, green, orange, and white. So if you add green in front and white on top, Alright, so this this is where it would go, right? But as you can see here, I'm just going to do it on this one. Green, orange, white. Green, orange, white. So, now that, that, one, now that your piece is in the right spot, right? If you want to look at the target sticker, where does it go? So, this is green, red, and white. So, green, red, and white would go down here. Because, as you can see on 3x3, three three, or it would go up here, I mean. Because, as you can see, green, red, and white. So, it would go right next to this one. So, 
now, basically, well, you have to look for where the exact sticker would go. So since green would go right there, you would memorize the letter J. Because if you remember A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. So you'd memorize the letter J. And each piece, basically, you have to just get it so that whatever letter you memorize, so in this case J, you have to get it down to this, the sticker down to this part without touching this corner. So, for example, for this one, it's very simple. You can just move this down because you can see what from here to here. And then you would do, our, do your algorithm, right? Our, and then you'd reverse it, move it back up. And as you can see, they're paired together. And you would do, and how it would work is you would do that for every piece. So now white, blue, and red would go over here, and then you know so on and so forth. But um, yeah, so we're back to the original scramble. So what you want to do now is memorize every, or er, memorize every single piece. Now, that's not that's not going to take too long. So we already have J, right? So we have J. So now where does this one go? Up here, which is B. So J. B, and then this blue, red, and yellow sticker goes back here, which is Q, R, S, T. So we have J, well, J, B, T. And you always, and when you're do, me, during, memor, during, during your memorization, sorry about that, during your memorization, try to hold the pieces that you have already solved. You don't have to hold the one that you chose for existence, this one. Um, just choose the one, just take the ones you already saw. So we've already solved these three. So now this one. So since it's back here, we just flip it around. Blue, orange, and yellow. So if, so it's the blue sticker, which goes over here. Which is Q, R, S. So J, B, T, S. Now you have J, B, T, S. We've reached the buffer piece. And this is the buffer piece because, as you can see, one, if the cube was solved, it would go over here in the buffer spot. So, since we've reached the buffer piece, we have to see one thing. Have we solved all the pieces? We've solved this, we, these two are solved. we solved this one, this one, this one. So, we solved those five. But, as you can see, there are still two left. Now, there's two different ways that they could be, basically, you could either have a bunch of pieces that need to move around, or you could have to a couple of flip pieces. It works the same for both. Here, right, actually, I'm just gonna quickly show you this example. So, basically, for this one, you do so J, right? Yeah, I'm gonna just gonna show you what to do so far. So, J, bring it down, algorithm, up. Now that's solved. So, then we said B. So, B would be also equally simple. And then do the algorithm, and then reverse it. As you can see, that's solved. J, B, T, which is just that. Wow, we're getting some pretty simple ones. And then algorithm, fix it. And then last, and then S, right, which is the buffer piece. So since we've reached the buffer piece, um, yeah, since we, or wait, no, first we have to do S, which is there. So sometimes, in S's case at least, it's pretty, it's kind of hard to get it there. But for this one, you have to do two moves, so it would be one because now it's over here, and then two to get it into spot. So then you do your algorithm, move it over, and, or no, then you would move it up and over. So now as you can see, we have solved all of this, and that gives us a clear perspective on what we were missing. We're missing these two, which were flipped, and then obviously we have the buffer piece, which will solve itself, but didn't do the process. So JBTS. Next, as you can see, we have these two. So if, in the case of a flipped corner, right, what you just want to do is memorize one of the stickers, any of the stickers, and here, I'm, for, I'm just going to do this one because it's very simple. I'm just going to memorize this one, which is already in the target location, so that makes it very simple. So you memorize this one, which is V, so it'd be J, B, T, S, V. So then you do the V algorithm, right? And then as you can see, it's swapped with the buffer piece. Now you might be thinking, but that didn't solve anything. But that's where you're wrong. Now, we have a new piece. The green one, which goes right here, which is I, J, K. So now we memorize K. So J, B, T, J, B, T, S, and then V, K. 
So, because we have VK, we do K. Yeah, I messed that up. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. And like I was saying, so now you just do K. So, up, down, algorithm. Then, wait, so it so would be up, in, down. Now, as you can see, that piece has been solved, and we solved everything other than the buffer piece. And this corner, which is also flipped. So we do the exact same thing. So we'll memorize I, J, K, L. So we'll memorize L. So we do L. And then we'd memorize where this sticker goes, which is down here. So U. Then we do U. And then we must reverse it. And then, as you can see, the cube has been solved. So I'm just going to do a quick speed through for that, just in case like that was kind of confusing. And it'll show you a, a little bit easier, okay? Okay, so now for the quick speed through. As you can see, we have the same scramble again. And the, the letters we're going to memorize are, so this goes here, which is J. So you memorize J. B, because this goes there. Then you'd memorize it's this sticker goes there. You memorize J. There, go there. J, B, T. This sticker goes there, so that's J, B, T, S. And we've reached the buffer piece. So once you reach the buffer piece, you wanna remember, you want to start a new, or you want to look for any, like, pieces that you haven't solved or flip corners. So as you can see, we have these two. So then we did, we decided to start with this one because it's easy. So V, which would switch these two. And then... This sticker goes there, which is K. So J B T S V K. This is actually a very this is actually one of the longer ones. So it's, it's gonna be a lot easier. So J B T S V K. And then from <coughs> from there we did this one, which was I J K L. So J B T S V K L. And then this sticker goes down here which is U. So, J, B, T, S, V, K, L, U. And that's all the letters we have to do. And an easy, there's a couple easy ways to remember it. One, uh, like, you could make up a little, like, kind of song, like, J, B, T, S, or whatever, you know? Like, sometimes if it goes, if it makes sense, it makes sense. Sometimes if not, then what you can do is just try to memorize it the best you can. If not, you can do what JPerm does and match them with words. So, for example, JB could be, um, I don't know, just, you know, like, stuff like that. So, like, JB could be jumping banana. Here, we'll try it. Jumping banana. Um, jumping banana. Tapes shut. T.S. Jumping banana. Tapes shut. A, well, jumping banana, tapes shut, vase, jumping banana, tapes shut, vase, one sec, okay, I'm back, so you could have jumping, ban jumping banana, tapes shut, um, vase kings, lego underwear, <laughs> it's kind of a weird one, but it kind of helps you remember, because you got J, B, um, J, B, T, S, V, K, L, U. And then, after you're done memorizing, if you want, you can check it over again. If not, you can just go for it. And so, you just put on your blindfold, and then you start. So, J. So, this is J. So, we bring it down, J. And then, reverse, then B. And then, T back here. Wait, one sec. So T, which is back there. J, B, T, S, which is over here. Nope, I messed up. It's... Yeah, like that. So, J, B, T, S, and then V. K, and then L, and 
And then lastly, you. And as you can see, it's solved. So now, quickly, I'm just going to go over one more case. I'm going to do this. And then, so right after, I'm just going to do a quick random scramble. And here, I'll find that case. Be right back. Okay, so I'm here. It's not going to look at this every time, I see. But, so pretend that this is, like, it's completely scrambled. But you've completely planned out all of these pieces, right? And all that needs to swap are two pieces. This It could be two or more, but let's say you need to swap two. So, how it would work is you'd memorize one of their stickers, like normal. So, in this case, we'd do V. So, you'd memorize V. After whatever, obviously. So, you'd memorize V. Then, this goes up here, which is C. So, you'd memorize V, C. And then... This goes back down to V, so V, C, V. And you just do that, so V. And then, there's no set of moves, obviously. C. And then V again. And as you can see, you have solved it. And, um, yeah, so that's how you solve a 2x2 two two blindfolded. Um, it seemed, it may seem like a lot, this video was a little long, but once you actually look past, like, how long this video was, it was mainly because it was just one example. But yeah, so it's actually really easy to learn, and after you've learned the 2x2, two two, you're one step, you're one step away from learning the 3x3 three three blindfolded, which I've only done once, but it was fun. I have a video of it on my channel, go check it out. But yeah, so that's how you saw the 2x2 two two blindfolded, if you guys have any questions, or on anything that was mentioned in this video, comment them down below and I will answer them. If I know the answer to it, which I probably will. Assuming that's about this. Um, but yeah, so um, put any questions in the comment section down below. And that's going to be the end of this tutorial. Like and subscribe for more, and I will see you all next time. Bye!